I used to live in this house. That's just a house I dream about. Have you ever done that before? Pull someone into your dream? When I was a little girl, like four or five, if I had a nightmare, I'd always bring my dad in. Dreams would always get better. He used to tell me about it the next day. He used to think they were his dreams. <laughs> well, when did that stop? When I was still a kid, my folks got divorced. And after a while, I just thought I imagined the whole thing. But I guess I didn't. It's an amazing gift. Man of my dreams. He's real, isn't he? He's real. OK, group's in session. Straight talk only in this room. Today, I'd like to start getting us acquainted with our new staff member, Nancy Thompson. Let's make her all welcome. Hi. 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 Now, you've already met Philip and Kincaid and, of course, Kristen. How about uh, the rest of you all tell Nancy something about yourselves? Will, how about you first? Hi, I'm Will Stanton, and um, I've had a little accident, as you can see. Ended up in this chair. Accident my ass. I thought you said this was supposed to be straight talking here. Hey, so he took a jump. At least he wasn't sticking needles in his arm with a bunch of low lives. Save it, Kincaid. Jennifer? Um, I'm Jennifer Caulfield. And um, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to Los Angeles to be an actress. I'm going to be on TV. Yeah, lifestyle of the rich and psychotic. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> This is Joey. He used to be a debater in school, but now he doesn't talk much. I'm Taryn White. The only reason I'm in here is because uh, it's a better deal than Juvie Hall. Also, because I'm going through some very strange shit. Your dreams. Everybody has bad dreams. Can I interject something here just to save us all some time? Sure, Philip, go ahead. Well, according to our kind hosts, our dreams are a group psychosis. Sort of a mellow mass hysteria. The fact that we all dreamt about this guy before we ever met doesn't seem to impress anybody. Yeah. That's right. So we go in circles, making minimal progress with maximum effort. You won't make any progress until you recognize your dreams for what they are. And what are they? The byproducts of guilt. Psychological scars stemming from moral conflicts and overt sexuality. Great, Nass, my dick is killing me.
Curse of Ages now be lifted. Catchy, huh? I mean, it's not Henry Rollins. Well, you know, sometimes my instincts, they, uh, they just take over. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. It's called deductive reasoning. I'm a scientist, man. You're an idiot.